for this lesson, we are going to see how to work with guides. Each time that you create a guide with the guide tool, it's going to be created like that. That defines the area where the hair is going to grow. Here, you can simulate the areas for the splines and you can see here all the area where this hair is growing. This guide is affecting all this part and it's making an interpolation here. And as you can see with the region map, it's going to affect weirdly because we have the region map painted until here. Now, when you have the guide, you can scale it and it's going to resize. If your guide is not resizing and it's looking like that, when you release the scale, you have an error with uh, the accent creation tool. You will need to close accent and bring it back. If that does not fix the error, it's maybe an error with the actual uh, scene and the model. So you will need to create a new scene and to rework the room. That's not going to happen with a groom that it's already being worked on. Mostly happens with new grooms. So, so you will need to fix it and rework everything from scratch. And the, the guide should look like this. Each guide by default, it's going to have five uh, divisions or depends on the amount that you're going to put on the CB count. Right now, I have for my guides, let's see, rebuilt. Here, I'm going to put just five divisions. Right now, I have just five CBs here to control my guide. And what this means, it's how much influence I want my guide to have. For the guide control, you have the guide scope tool that it's quite easy to fix. And also you can have guide controls that are not that natural to use. At least it's give you more control over the shape. And also you have move, move guide tool. And you can copy a shape of a guide the next time that you create a new guide, it's going to try to follow the guide for the more closer guide that you have. But like here, I have no influence from that guide and I can come here, right click, copy guide, left click, paste guide shape. And you're going to paste the shape of your guide. Also for more complex shapes like that, when you're grooming, and you're trying to achieve a guide or a shape that it's something like this that is a more complex shape you can change the side of your artisan uh, or your sculpt size brush with shift or with b but if you hit b and apply the soft selection tool and try to sculpt again with the soft selection tool on sometimes you will not be able to select your guide so you have to be sure that the soft selection it's off and as you know B can turn off soft, on soft selection sometimes if you want to achieve a long hair curl or some complex shape you're going to be able to see that you're losing some shapes with uh, the with the CB count and that some shapes are looking weird when that happens you have two options to sculpt First, reveal the guide. Reveal is going to change the CB count of each guide. You can go up to values up to 20. As you can see here, the guide is looking is going to look better, but it's going to be hard to control and have a smooth shape when you have more guides or more CB counts. Let's say that I have a value of 50 CB counts. That's a really, really high value. As you can see, it's harder to control and it's going to give, give me some weird shapes if I'm trying just to put a minor division here. You can see here that I have some weird uh, waves and maybe that's not the goal that I have. Also, as you can see, if I move my guide, all the guide is uh, moving with it. That's because here from my sculpt tool options, I have some things. I have the size of the brush. I have the lock length that that's going to lock the length of my uh, guide. If I don't use it, 
Also, if I select one guide, I'm just going to be able to, to groom that guide only. As you can see here also, it, it can change which guides you're going to affect, if the description only, all descriptions in collections or all collections. So I'm not going to select anything. If I do not select anything, I can affect both guides. And here, if I have the lock land on, you can see here that the lock is going to be obvious. But if I remove the lock land, I can scale the guide. But the guide that I scale, it's going to be only from the influence. You can see here that the CBs are not being affected. I'm going to show it like that. And it's only affecting the CB that I'm selecting. And sometimes it's getting hard to select because we have no many uh, CB counts. And when the shape is like this, we have two options to fix. You can see that the distance between the CBs are different. This CB count here, this CB is quite long here and is shorter here. You can either rebuild your guide and that's going to change the shape or you can normalize it. When you normalize your guide, you select the guide and it's going to normalize the distance between the CBs like that. But you can lose your shape. Sometimes when you're working with Maya, you are going to lose the control C option. So be aware of that and Exit can lose that. You have to close the Maya scene and open it again. So here, if I go to rebuild and put like 15 CB counts, I'm going to remain and have the shape again. It's going to normalize a bit, but I can always try to normalize and it's going to change everything. Also, I recommend that if you're using or you're trying to groom try to room with less uh, CB counts. 15 is for long hair, uh, something like 10, it's for this distance of hair, because when you are grooming with too many CB counts, it's really, really hard to control. And when you're using these kind of shapes, if you need to fix some part, you can either uh, bring or make the CB or the influence bigger, or if you want to change just a part of the shape, you can see that it's quite complex to change it. You can just rebuild your shape to something like 15. You're going to lose a bit, maybe even less. The distance is not that high. And you can see that here it's easier to control the guide. And now I can go again and put the 50 CV counts that I had before and normalize my CVs here. But if I do it like that, I'm going to have some errors. So maybe 20 CB counts to control a bit better. And you can see that the result is still there. So try to groom when you have your final shape, you can get up with CBs. Maybe 40, it's okay. 50 is extremely high number. I normally work up to 30 CB counts with complex grooms. Normalize when you can. You still have a lot of detail there that I do not like. So let's put it something like this and reveal to 30 if I want more resolution there. And also try to fix your grooms each time that you can. Let's put 20 here. You can see that it's smoother now and it's looking better. So this is the guide control. How do you work with guides? Also for the scope tool, you can control the colors of the volume and the selection highlight here and you can set the length of the selected guides if you want. You can scale, you can rotate, and you can move, but to move the guide, you cannot move it like this. If you want to move a guide that you already create, you go to the move tool, hit control on the base of the guide and move your guide with control selected plus left click something like this and you have to select the guide base so this will be all for the guide selection you can see here how the groom follows how the guide works but it's going to look weird because I have not many guides and the division is affecting everything so thank you for following this part of the tutorial and see you on the next time